No reason to believe this is an April Fool's joke here, but we have ourselves some news from Corey Pronman of The Athletic regarding one of the top NCAA free agents. Actually, THE top NCAA free agent. The belief here is that Bobby Trevino from UMass will sign with the New York Rangers. And right away, you see this tweet, it was from an hour ago, it's got 700 likes, you don't normally see tweets that are like this, oh, an NCAA guy's gonna sign with a team, big deal. They don't usually pop off in the way that this Trevino tweet has. The reason this had popped off is because, as we noted, Bobby Trevino was the top NCAA free agent in the entire collegiate system. This season, as the captain of UMass, he had 49 points, 20 goals, 29 assists in 37 games played. And as a 23-year-old, 5'8", 161 pound forward, he's going to be taking his talents over to the New York Rangers, where he was a fan growing up. Of course, the guy has to be a Rangers fan, so the guy's going to sign with the Rangers because the Rangers are just that popular of a team that you have all these NCAA guys that want to go over there and don't want to go anywhere else. Cough, cough, Adam Fox. Trevino was the third best NCAA point producer this season, falling shortly behind Bobby Brink, playing for the University of Denver, also a prospect of the Flyers, and then you had Nathan Smith for the Minnesota State University Mankato team, who is an Arizona prospect. Trevino was third, and as you can see, out of all the guys that are affiliated with NHL teams, or excuse me, that are not affiliated with NHL teams, Trevino is the top one, and he did so in 37 games played, thus making him one of the top point per game guys as well. So, you go over to Trevino and the entire profile he has. What exactly is it that makes him so special? Why is he able to produce so many points? Well, this is a YouTube video of the UMass head coach, Greg Carvel, talking about Trevino, and one of the things that he says about this player is that when they learned about his overall hockey profile, and they had him on their team at the beginning, he heard that he was a poor man's Johnny Gaudreau which definitely is something that I think a lot of people who are 5'8 would like to be called because Johnny Gaudreau is going to get 100 points this year and he is just an overall monster in the National Hockey League. You also had yourselves this hockey news article, or excuse me, college hockey news article, talking about how Bobby Trevino was named their CHN Player of the Year. This is a little scouting report as how he plays right here. Infamously suspended for the national championship game after a penalty he took in the semifinal that was reviewed after the game, he then avenged that by leading UMass to a national championship in 2021 when he was named the tournament's most outstanding player. This, by the way, the suspension was in 2019, so it's not now. There you go, haha, ha, April Fools. Even though a case could easily be made for at least 10 other players to receive the Player of the Year award, in the end, the pick was Trevino because of the combination of everything he has. He's a heart and soul player for a team that he had to carry offensively for much of the season. Trevino finished third in the nation in scoring and 11th in goals. While he had many good teammates, to be sure, he did not have the same supporting cast that many of the aforementioned teams did, teams filled with high-end players. You then had yourselves this article here on Dauber Prospects, NCAA Free Agency Fantasy Rankings, published by Peter Harling on March 25th. You scroll down and see what they say about Trevino as the second best NCAA free agent ranked by Dauber. A hope bigger candidate in the senior year, and as team captain for the Minutemen, Trevino will be quickly signed when the season ends. NHL teams have already shown interest as he attended the Pittsburgh Penguins and New York Rangers development camps. The 23-year-old has a good shot of seeing some NHL action this year to burn a year of his ELC, but he may prefer to sign an AHL PTO for the balance of this season and let his ELC kick in for the 2022-2023 season, allowing him more time to adjust to pro hockey and make the NHL roster before his contract expires. He is a skilled offensive player that excels at playmaking. He has a high compete level despite his small size, and he is an effective forechecker. He lacks NHL-level speed, which may limit his ability to force turnovers. The projection here they have is a bottom six winger with offensive upside. And so, what you have here in Bobby Trevino ultimately is a very interesting player profile. Is he going to be Johnny Gaudreau 2.0? Probably not, but there still is a lot to look forward to, especially with the offensive poise and potential that he did have. Is he going to become an absolute game changer? 
who really knows? And the fact that he is a left wing, primarily, it's going to be tough to crack on the New York Rangers because that's already a team that's got some good left wing depth. But if the guy likes the team, he wants to go over there because he was a fan growing up, then he's going to go over there regardless of who else is on the team already. So, Rangers fans, let me know in the comments what do you think about Bobby Trevino and the entire prospect profile he possesses. According to Corey Pronman, he's going to be heading over to you guys and your team. I hope you enjoyed this. Sign on. And bye.